tonight for the only truly red calla lily on, on the planet. And all flowers have a personality. I'd said it before. Whenever you see a cartoon for children and there's a flower involved uh, and it's smiling, it's a Gerber daisy. A calla lily <laughs> is probably one of the most sophisticated of all flowers. And yet most people have never seen this color. I am excited that this is on just by coincidence on our first day of what we're calling Spirit Week here at QVC, where the hosts were recommended that we're gonna wear a different color every day. What'd you say, tomorrow's orange, Justin? And then yellow? Then, then it would be what, blue and then purple? Yeah, and you can join us. You know, take photos yourself and put your sit on our QVC page. There's red, but then Barbara, there's, there's this red. Right, this is that fire engine red that the whole flower, and the flower itself is five inches wide, high by three inches across. So it's a nice size flower too, and you will get flowers this year. It's accentuated with that speckled white foliage that is yep. just as interesting as the flower. This is a, a calla lily I had to bring here because on all my years of doing this, I have never seen a true red one. Now, these are native to South Africa, okay. but they are highly adaptable and they will do well in container gardens, in your beds, in your borders, uh, along water edges, because they do like that moist soil too. Put them in full sun to part shade, and you are going to wake up a garden like I've never seen. It, what it does for, again, most people, their gardens, unless you're fortunate to have just moved into a new home, uh, the gardens are, are usually pretty um, substantial in terms of they've been around for a while. You know, the same yeah. plants that I planted five, six years ago as perennials are coming again back this spring. This is that little, well, not little, that big pop of color that you can put into right. a garden to completely change it. Now, I wanna show them the bulbs that come here, and I purposely wanna point out that these bulbs look small, but that's for a reason. They were bred that way so that you get more than you would expect. Right, you can get them into little nooks and crannies and then have this explosion of flowers you're going to get flowers this year, and yep. you're going to get even more next year and more the following year. This is that plant that just gives you so much satisfaction in the garden. And I say there's no better gardening than when you're totally satisfied. You're burying that about three inches down, so easy. You're not digging a big giant yep. hole, and you're going to love watering that in, keeping the soil moist, water it in, you'll get your garden guide, which gives you all the tips and hints for how to be super successful with your gardening. All right, here's my, my analogy. Calla lilies are the, the slender lady in a 1920s flapper's dress of the garden. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And, and they, are, elegant. they are a sophisticated flower. They do take a tiny bit more care at the beginning of their life than some others. And these are listed as an annual, but you and I, when we were talking on the phone, and we were gabbing for almost an hour just talking about everything, okay. but the, you can treat these in many ways like a perennial and, right. and grow them again every year. Right, because at the end of the season, you are just going to dig these up, dig those bulbs right back up after, I mean, before the uh, frost hits. And you're going to store them in a cool, dark space until next spring. Yep. You're going to do that process again, and they're going to come back even better. I love this plant. It's easy to grow. It's an annual in most areas, but it is hardy in zone 8 to 10. But if you're in zone 3 to 7, you're just going to dig those up at the end of the season. Cool, dry, dark spot and you're going to have these bulbs come up again next year. They're a pretty fire engine red. They yep. grow about 24 inches tall, so they don't get too tall. They're a nice sturdy stem, and Dan, these make a spectacular cut flower arrangement. The blooms are gonna happen between mid-summer uh, to go all the way through late summer. 
So this is going to give you that beautiful, shocking red that most people have never seen in a calla lily. Like, I think I've seen so many plants and seen it all. And then there's always something that surprises me. And this calla lily was something that I said, I have got to get that on QVC. We're gardeners, we love to share new findings, and this was a great one that we fell in love with. You know, uh, there is a big difference between pink and red. Pink is a little soft, delicate. When you break out the red shoes, that's, that's when you want some attention, <laughs> right? <laughs> T today is our first day of Spirit Week, and we're going with the rainbow. Uh, so the hosts were asked to wear red today and, and tomorrow it'll be orange and then we'll, we'll morph into, what do we say? Yellow? I'm trying to remember my, my, uh, my rainbow. Uh, this, this is all about having something that quite frankly is a part of gardening that, that we never talk about. Gardening is a full contact competitive sport with the neighbor. And oh I, gosh, yes. You, you know, and I have both seen calla lilies. Yep. Yeah, you want to be the first. <laughs> yeah, and this is a great way to really make your garden come alive with something unusual, but something that's so easy to grow. You could put these in containers and have other plants around the base of them just flowing over the side. That calla lily flower lasts such a long time in the garden. It also lasts like three weeks if you cut it and put it in a vase in your house. This is a plant that I just love having and mixing it in to your garden gives it such an unusual look. Look at the white speckles on the leaves. That red really shows up like fire engine red and it's just a plant that I just love because it is so unusual but so easy. It is also such a distinctive color that you can use this throughout a garden to draw your eye to it. And I'm gonna recommend that people spend a little more money and pick up two sets, three sets or more. They're bulbs, so they'll go into small areas for pops of color. And it's just mm -hmm. exactly what we need to make our gardens different and unique this year and then for many years to come. I also, I've gotta promote, I've gotta plug this, because Barbara, I love you. Uh, you never toot your own horn.